Hello everyone, welcome back to Aerospace Engineering powered by your engineer. We provide all the information related to Aerospace Engineering, whether it is about higher education, abroad studies, gate exam, other competitive exams, training and placement. So everything related to Aerospace Engineering is told in this particular channel. We have started a video series about the subjects of Aerospace Engineering, about how you can prepare for each and every subject, be an expert of that subject. So you must know the scope, syllabus and job prospect related to that subject. We have already covered aircraft propulsion, aircraft flight dynamics and control and aerodynamics. If you haven't seen those videos, you can see that videos in the link above or the link is also given in the description. So you can watch that video also. Now, since you got all the information about air aerodynamics, aircraft structure, sorry, not aircraft structure, aerodynamics, uh, flight dynamics and control and aircraft propulsion. Now I must say all these subjects are kind of correlated. Okay. How the correlation is done? I'm telling you like air is going into the engines. So air is being compressed. The pressure is increasing. The temperature is increasing and then it's exhausting out. So air has an effect either on the blades of propeller that's aerodynamics either on the blades of compressor, blades of turbines. So air has an effect. So kind of you can see that aerodynamics and propulsion are correlated. Fine. Other than that flight dynamics. Now in flight dynamics, when you calculate the range and endurance, you consider a specific fuel consumption of that particular aircraft. That is a parameter. So you see again that thing is uh, connected. When you calculate the thrust required, power required by an aircraft, you uh, see that CLCD, lift coefficient, drag coefficient is used. So you see that aircraft propulsion, aerodynamics and flight mechanics, they three are correlated. But aircraft structure is an important subject which is all along different from these things. But at the end, this matters the most. Okay, because if you don't have a structure, there will be nothing about it. There will be nothing, nothing about aerospace engineering. So how a structure is made? Because we want that the weight should be less, but we also want to accommodate 100 to 200 passengers like in Boeing 747. We also want to carry so much loads of fuel, carry so much loads of ration and everything. If you talk about the military aircraft, okay, like uh, that super Hercules aircraft you see, okay, that is the aircraft loader. That means uh, bomber aircraft are also there. So you must have to carry the weights, but still you want to reduce the weight. So you have to optimize the materials. You have to optimize the forces and uh, stresses. What are the acting on that and how to reduce that? And still it's not on ground. You see that in grounds accident can happen. Okay. In grounds accident can happen when the base is there. Okay. Trains can collide, trains can get down from the rails and everything. So accident can happen in ground level. So you have to make so much safer transport as an aviation. So aircraft structure has to be so optimized. So there is a lot of scope in aircraft structure. And also the major portion of aircraft structure is made of two things. First, strength of materials and second, vibration. Okay. Theory of vibration. So there are two things that make the aircraft structures. First portion is strength of materials. We see that there are three kinds of things. Okay. Three forces or you can say three things like first is elasticity. Then there is shear, torsion and bending. Okay. Also there's buckling. So there are various kinds of stresses are there like shear stresses, buckling stresses and uh, torsional stresses, bending stresses and also normal stresses that is tension and compression. So we study about all those things and how the strain energy is induced in a body and how the fracture is there. Fracture mechanics we also study in aircraft structures. Other than that, we study about the vibrations. In vibration, there has been free vibration, forced vibration, continuous beams. So we study everything related to vibrations also. What happens when these subjects mix with each other? Then a new major subject comes out, which is a higher standard subject, 
विच इज एरो इलास्टिसिटी नाउ एरो इलास्टिसिटी मीन्स वी हैव मेड अ स्ट्रक्चर बट दैट स्ट्रक्चर इज फ्लोटिंग इन द एयर सो वट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑफ एयर ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ दैट एयर अफेक्ट दैट स्ट्रक्चर हाउ दैट इज फ्लोटिंग बट अ टर्बुलेंस इज देयर इन द टर्बुलेंस यू कैन अज्यूम दैट इट्स ऑफ अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड टन्स ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट बट स्टिल ड्यू टू द इफेक्ट ऑफ एयर इट हैज ए टर्बुलेंस ओके वाई बिकॉज इट्स फ्लोटिंग सो एयर हैज एन इफेक्ट ऑन स्ट्रक्चर्स सो वेन द एरोडाइनमिक्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर्स मीट इट्स कॉल्ड एरो इलास्टिसिटी एंड दैट एरो इलास्टिसिटी इज अ वेरी मेजर सब्जेक्ट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो वी स्टार्ट विद द फोर्सेज मोमेंट्स अदर दैन दैट वट आर द शेयर फोर्सेज बेंडिंग मोमेंट्स द डायग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू दैट देर आर वेरियस स्ट्रेसेज वेरियस स्ट्रेंस लाइक नॉर्मल स्ट्रेसेज आर देयर विच इज टेंसाइल स्ट्रेसेज कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेसेज देन वी हैव शेयर स्ट्रेसेज देन वी हैव बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेज एंड टॉर्जन इज देयर बकलिंग इज देयर ओके शेयर फ्लो इज देयर एंड अदर देन दैट एनर्जी कंसिड्रेशन ऑल्सो देयर वी हैव थ्योरी ऑफ फेलियर्स how the aircraft can uh, how the particular component can fail if this much stress will be applied then this will fail like uh, maximum principal stress theory tresca's theory von mises theory there are various theories of failure also other than that we have vibrations vibration is also in the syllabus of aircraft structures okay in gate aerospace engineering also these are the syllabus so your engineer is conducting a scholarship test related to the gate aerospace 2022 online preparation if you are interested you can fill the registration form by clicking below in the description box and you will get registered for the scholarship test the scholarship test is on 15th of february and 20th of february and the batches are starting from 25th february so we have talked about the scope of the aircraft structure the syllabus of aircraft structure now what is the job prospect related to aircraft structure now you have seen that aircraft structure has a major portion of strength of materials okay if you have strength of materials so you can calculate the loads you can learn the software related to abacus uh you can study ansys okay if your expertise in ansys abacus matlab so you will get a quite high paying job in any of the aircraft industry because they all want the analysis simulation about the aircraft structures but i'm again repeating you must be an expert it's not like you can just learn this particular software you must know how to apply the things in that software like boundary conditions are there okay you give the boundary conditions you tackle with them and uh, some codings are also done you can learn python also that will help you a lot okay so these are all the softwares that you can get an expertise and get the job in aircraft structures field aircraft structures if you are doing amtech in aircraft structures that is also opening your area for mechanical engineering field okay in mechanical engineering field like cyan technologies are there and uh, various companies private companies like siemens is there safran aerospace is there airbus and various aircraft companies aircraft manufacturing companies and uh, automobile manufacturing companies they can also hire you based on your skills that you have okay the major thing that we can study here in the structures will be flight vehicle dynamics okay flight vehicle structural dynamics these are also the study about things uh, in the aircraft structures if your expertise in structural aerodynamics or you can say aero elasticity that will be more and more helpful if you want to go abroad for jobs okay because there there is a lot of emphasis on the research in aero elasticity okay where flutter is considered and divergence is considered wing divergence is torsional divergence there are various topics when aircraft structures and aerodynamics meet okay so this is all about the aircraft structures and if you haven't seen the video related to propulsion aerodynamics and uh, flight dynamics you can see the videos from in the descriptions now uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel subscribe to it like this video share this video comment on this video about what you want me to make about aerospace engineering what information do you guys want about aerospace engineering till then stay connected thank you very much